Hey folks, got four quick items on the docket for today's Q&A. First one, we got a question come in saying, should I replace my shingle roof with a metal roof given everything that's happening? No, for two reasons. Um, first, when it comes to Earth's magnetic field weakening and us getting more cosmic rays, cosmic rays don't really penetrate all that much down to the surface as they are. Most of them go into the breakout cascade pretty much as soon as they hit the top of the sky. The protons, the electrons, as long as your roof isn't made out of a thin sheet of cloth, your roof is going to stop them. And in terms of the neutrons, the muons, metal, shingles, cloth, no, nothing's going to stop those. Those go deep through rock. In fact, they can detect them inside of pyramids and things like that. The second reason is, in addition to the fact that it's not going to matter much in terms of Earth's weakening magnetic field, from the solar perspective, having a metal roof actually makes your house much more vulnerable. It's much more attractive to the induced current. So you would actually be taking your house or whatever structure you're installing the metal roof and making it more vulnerable to the damaging effects of a major solar flare, CME impact, and geomagnetic storm. Speaking of metal, we talked recently about electronic devices. We talked about metal in the body, but people were asking about what other metal tools. What about a shovel? What about a screwdriver? This is another one of those can't guarantee yes or no, but in the 6,000 year super flare and definitely in the solar micronova, the induction could be strong enough to affect those. It's kind of like I was mentioning with the metal inside your body. If you've got metal screws in your knee, I can't guarantee that during the micronova, those are gonna be sparking little bits of lightning inside of your body. I can't guarantee those are going to melt. It's just that the risk of that is absolutely zero on a normal day. And with that super powerful induction, maybe those chances aren't zero. I wouldn't put it past the possibility that even regular metal tools could melt, not only because of the power of that induction, but let's look at some of the reality here. We have a lot of evidence of major civilization in the past, not just Atlantis. There's tons of that in India and other places in the world, but the only thing that survived is rock. Now it is true that, okay, maybe after a couple thousand years, it would have all rusted away anyway, and perhaps that's a good explanation. But also we don't like to just go with, oh, hey, maybe this explanation could explain it and then just put the idea out of our head. We're gonna have enough induction with this event. It's worth thinking about and I don't necessarily know about a good solution for that problem about uh, regular metal tools, uh, pre-industrial tools that we do recommend for farming and things like that after your tractor isn't going to work and things like that, but it certainly is something to think about. Next one is a very quick answer. The question was, Ben, did they put those seed vaults up in the north because they know that after the world turns, they're going to be at the equator? Short answer, yeah. Last question. We got this paper two days ago, and this was on the magnetic field effect on the North Atlantic Oscillation, effectively the surface pressure and the major oscillations and patterns that move the weather around. Now, we have seen this before, um, but I want you guys to know this really reinforces that issue we brought up several days ago about why the jet streams are changing and that how much it has to do with Earth's magnetic field changing. Um, it's not only that on shorter scales, it's modulated by solar activity, but over the long term, the position of the jets, the position of the semi-permanent highs like the Azores high, the Siberian high, and the semi-permanent lows are affected by the magnetic field, which is why drought patterns, flood patterns are changing so profoundly because the jet patterns are changing because Earth's magnetic field absolutely does have a very serious effect on things like the jets and these major surface oscillations with pressure cells and things like that. So to quickly review, do not build a metal roof. No, I cannot guarantee that your shovel is still going to be a shovel after the solar micronova. Yes, the reason why the seed vaults are all the way up there in the north is because it's not going to be up at the north for much longer. And to sort of confirm what we've said before about Earth's magnetic field and therefore actually the solar effect as well on things like the North Atlantic Oscillation. And this also goes for the Southern Oscillation, El Nino, La Nina, Pacific Decadal Oscillation, all the things like that. This paper is a good one to read uh, to get a little bit of that mechanistic action about how that all works. Anyway, uh, I will see you in the morning for the daily show. Be sure to check out the links below the video, including the Earth Disaster Playlist if you haven't seen it. Be safe, everyone.